So hi guys, this is my uh, third session out today since uh, arriving in Scotland. And um, I had original plans to go uh, elsewhere, but the weather today is honking. Um, strong winds and an awful lot of rain, sleet and snow. Uh, temperature at the moment on the car is like one degree. Um, great warm temperature for spring here in Scotland. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna head off to a place I know where there's curlew, lapwing, wheatier, there is ring oozel and uh, a few bird of prey species. So I'm just gonna head there, park up, and I'm gonna basically set myself up not far from the car so I can take cover if I need to between um, heavy rain showers. But uh, yeah, it, it is one of those days where it's probably gonna be a complete washout. But to be honest, just gotta get out. I've, um, I've got like four hours to myself before I have to head back uh, to the family and uh, take my son swimming and stuff. So yeah, gonna make the most of it, get there see what the crack is and uh, fingers crossed I'll get into some birds hopefully and um, won't get too wet. So finally set up and uh, I've just come up from where I parked a bit further away that I planned because the wind's pretty cheeky and there's a lot of showers around. Um, so I've just set up here, um, just outside this old derelict, quite large little farm really. Um, the wind's right behind me, rain's coming in behind me. It's a cracking little spot. And you probably won't be able to pick it up, but there's lots and lots of lapwing here calling. There's curlew, there's oyster catcher. I've seen wheat ears. And there's lots of uh, interaction there with lapwing having a go at a lot of crows at the moment. Obviously this is their breeding site and they're being quite heavily territorial, but uh, yeah, set up here and um, enjoy however many hours I stay. But uh, there's a chance, I did hear a ring oozel up at the top there, um, which is lovely. I'm not really gonna go any further than this today because I kind of um, just wanna stay low down and enjoy time with these birds really. And uh, hopefully uh, I'll get some magical shots if I can catch those uh, lapwing in flight. Just had a curly land. Oh no. Oh. Well, that's superb. So, just had a curly then um, that just landed quite close by. Got another wheat here just in here, I think. Oh, it's fantastic. Oh man. I think I've got a, a little bit of video footage there of the curlew. Um, let's have a play of that back. I'm not sure what it's going to be like. Kind of the adrenaline was going a little. Um, yeah, it was there. Got a little bit. Ah, oh. yeah. Adrenaline was going, and I've got a, an old fence around here that was obviously around this building, and uh, I was just trying not to get caught up in it. But uh, yeah, fantastic. So that's like. There goes the curlew overhead now. Um, yeah, amazing. I've got a lapwing just in this field at the minute. It's just pheasant joining the uh, joining the party. Oh, it's an amazing place. So much going on. Oh yeah, that's great. You can if you can hear that on the camera. That's the lapwing, it's such a, a beautiful sound. That it almost sounds like some sort of arcade game. Pheasants, wheat ears, curlew. I mean, it's fantastic, absolutely fantastic. I mean, that's amazing. I really hope my mic's picking that up. 
That's just a glorious sound. All over the place here. Wow. Oh, it's fantastic. Really made up. Really made up. Um, yeah, it's just brilliant. What a place. What a place Scotland is. I mean, so far today, this has been way past what I thought I'd get today. I mean, there's been curlew, oyster catcher, lapwing, wheat ear. I've had a, there's a, some sort of wading bird that I don't know what it is. It's like a dunlin size, it's flying around. Can't get a, a match on it at all. Can't really get a, a decent picture, but oh, it's been superb. Absolutely no birds of prey, but I'm not bothered. I'm just up at the back here, probably up in a rocky outcrop. There's a ring oozle up there calling away. I mean, it's just species rich here. It's absolutely fantastic. And I think I've nailed a fairly good few shots there. A lot of um, out of focus stuff, but um, rapidly firing away, trying to get the lap wing in flight with this on the tripod. And I've obviously got the screen and stuff like that on there, but it's been, it's been absolutely superb. I mean, it really has. The weather isn't the best, but I thought it was gonna be a lot worse than this. But, you know, this is so enjoyable. There's so much to see here and here with beautiful scenery, you know, it's, absolutely fantastic i'm over the moon today you know i never thought today would be have come of anything to be honest but it's been yeah superb yeah enough said really so i was literally then just tracking a, a lap wing trying to catch it in flight which is proving to be a bit tricky um and uh a hare came right past me literally through a gateway um probably about i don't know 25 feet 30 feet away and just started running in front of me, back through the gateway and up over the back. Now, I'm not sure if it's a mountain hare or not, or a brown hare. I'm not particularly great at that ID. I'm going to clarify that when I get back. But we are at a base of a, well, we're quite a way up, actually. So I'm thinking, and it had a little bit of white still on it, so I'm thinking that possibly could be still a mountain hare. But, yeah, fantastic to see. Um, got some really, really nice shots there. I'll just show on the back of the camera. Um, let's have a look. Be able to see. Probably a bit difficult, but there. You can see, I don't know if you can. Lovely, lovely hair just coming on past. Absolutely superb, made up with that. Anyway, back to the lap wing. I'm absolutely gutted. I just literally had two brown hairs go like just in front of me there, about kind of eight, 10 foot. Both of them just mooch past. I was like, uh, couldn't do anything. <laughs> couldn't get any shots. Tried to get a bit of video because I got some shots of one going across earlier on. And it, it was just here. I mean, it's ridiculously close. Um, went straight past me. Couldn't get the video on them. As I had to turn, it squeaked on there and then he sort of like mooched on by. I could not believe it. I mean, that's so close. Um, can't win them all. But uh, yeah, fantastic just to see them that close. I mean, literally. I mean... The 600 was got, it just got the, um, the top of the ears and the eye, and that's it. It was that close, so it probably wouldn't have been a brilliant video anyway, but wow, it was a great experience. Absolutely fantastic. Well, I've got to say, I quidged in with this uh, shelter here because it's um, just now started to rain, but I've probably mentioned it before in a lot of my vlogs. These lens coat lens covers are absolutely superb. They really are. I mean, especially situations like this. I've got the little uh, the lens hood there part, just protecting the screen. But yes, yeah, superb in between weather like this. It's just brilliant rather than moving your kit in and out. Um, and there's little side pockets here that you can do in manual focus, check some of the buttons, um, etc. So yeah, awesome bit of kit, awesome bit of kit. I can honestly say Scotland and Cornwall have got some similarities. Apart from uh, Cornwall being a damn sight warmer and Scotland being colder, their weather is very similar. One minute it's nice, next minute it's not. Um, and a lot of rain, but uh, still, here with the brew, enjoy myself. Stacks in action today. I think this has got to be one of my best photographic outings for a long time, um, just with the varied species. So I've said earlier on in the vlog that I could see some birds, like wading type birds flying around at high speed. And it wasn't, it was actually a snipe or a jack snipe, I'm not sure, but it's absolutely tiny. And it's just over a fence line over there. And I've got a little bit of video of it and a still, but it's going to be tiny because it's so small. But great to see another species here as well. I mean, 
cracking spot. I mean, loads going on. Now the rain's eased off now. Um, everything's come back to life again. The um, lapwing are up in the air. Birds are then feeding again. Wheaties are out. Meadow pipits, rock pipits. It's all going on. Um, fantastic. Anyway, I do that bird, so happy days. Just need to now work out if it's a jack or a uh, common snipe. And I expect it's a common snipe because jacks might are pretty rare. But uh, anyway, back to it. <laughs> nice that rain's eased off it's really pleasant willow warblers have started, have started um, coming out now oh it's fantastic So I've currently got this hair that's just so focused on sniffing the ground that it's just forgotten about danger, I think. And Man, it's amazing. Just had a load of lapwing mob the kestrel. Um, it's just non stop again. <sighs> oh, this is bonkers once again. Um, <sighs> geez, I could literally stay here all day. It's been, you know, phenomenal, really. Um, really pleased with some of the images. Really pleased. So I think I'm going to call it a day uh, and head home now. I think I've already said the word awesome and fantastic about a million times, but it really has been. You know, I've, I've loved every minute of it today. In and out of the showers, you know, it's been fantastic. And, and I'm just going to wrap up, I think, head back for a fresh cuppa. But I hope you've all enjoyed it. You know, I'm, I'm uh, you know, having an amazing time up here. It just really goes to show this sort of habitat, this sort of environment. The birds are just, they're just here in great numbers. And uh, it's just, yeah, it's a pleasure to be here, to be honest. But uh, if you subscribe to the channel, uh, if you give me a thumbs up, much appreciated as always. And leave a comment below about anything about today's vlog or about anything else you want to know about wildlife photography. And uh, for those that don't subscribe and if you fancy giving the channel a bit of a go, you know, hit that uh, all important subscribe button and that notification bell to be notified when more vlogs are on their way. But as always from me in the hills once again, in beautiful Scotland. I'll see you all next time.